click on our new project. Now I've widened this preview area so you can see a little bit better what's happening here. Now I've downloaded a short video from Stock Media here under my media file, Stock Media. And I've downloaded this 24 second video clip of this young girl dancing outside. I'm going to drop it down onto the timeline. I'm going to spread it along. Now, basically, just a, a girl dancing like so. Nothing special. Now, what we want to do is we want to find an area or f f find a point in the timeline where we want to do the transition. Now, if, if she's just going to dance in, just basically in front of you like this, that's pretty boring, right? But what if she does a turn around or she moves somewhere? That's the best place where you want to do your transitions. Now, I've already checked this out and it's about eight something. So I'm going to drag my timeline to about eight something. And there you can see, look, she does this little spin turnaround. That is perfect for our transition. Now, I'm going to go over to the current time on the right hand side here. And I'm going to go to 8.35 because that is the point I want it to be at. See, that is absolutely wonderful. That is where I want it my transition to come in. Now make sure your clip is selected down on your timeline. Go to the knife here on the left hand side if you want to split it or you can use Control T on your keyboard and cut your clip. Now we've got two clips like this. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we, we want to change the size of this and make it a little bit bigger. So there's a, a change in the, in the video clip, right? So underneath the preview, there's this zoom tool and click on that once with your left mouse button and go to 50% so we can see how it's gone. Now I'm going to increase the size right here in the preview pane. Now to keep it so that it's, if I try to change it from just dragging from left and right, it'll just pull it out from the bottom right, see like that. So we don't want to do that. But if you hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on one of the corners and then drag it out, you'll maintain aspect ratio. Look at that, very cool, right? And then we can just drop that down just a touch, like so, so we keep it in the frame, excellent. Go down to our zoom tool and put it back to fit. So now we've got a slightly smaller one on the here and a slightly bigger one here, see? It's a nice change. So make sure your second clip is selected, double click it so the playhead goes to the beginning of the, of the your, your clip. And what we want to do is we want to take a snapshot of this. So if you go underneath the preview window, there's this little camera here and you can take a snapshot. We can use Control P on a keyboard. We can also right click in here and take a snapshot underneath the fast forward. See, snapshot. So you've got three ways to do this. So let's take a snapshot. It'll give you the name snapshot. I'm going to put mine in downloads. I'm going to click save. Now, I've already done this before because I had to test this out, of course, to see if this works. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click yes and just click OK. So it overwrites it. Now, go on the left hand side to your menu and your media, my media, and click on it. And your sh snapshot should be here in your media library. Now, if it isn't in here, you need to go into edit at the very top left here. Click on edit, go all the way to preferences or Alt C on your keyboard and you'll get your preferences menu here. Now, all the way down here, it'll say capture. If you go all the way down, go to the one that says capture and make sure the first one here, add captured files to media library. Make sure this is selected. Now I toggle this off and on quite, quite often. So it, it's, it's been on for a while for me. So, so just make sure that's selected and then just and click okay, come out. If you haven't done that, then just import your, where, where you, we've, selected it or just redo it again. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Just go and take another snapshot now that you've selected it and it'll bring it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the snapshot down onto track two underneath our track right here because they're exactly the same. So if we move this playhead along, you won't see anything because it's a snapshot of her for quite many seconds. So which is so now we're going to go into our snapshot. So make double click on our snapshot and make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Move the playhead all the way out of the way, double click on snapshot and the playhead will come to the beginning of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shorten this. Now, 
my project is 50 frames per second. So if I go to edit preferences and under general, you'll see right in the timeline frame rate is at 50 frames per second. Now, if you're in America, of course, or somewhere else, you've probably got 60 or 30 frames per second. This is legacy um, stuff. I don't understand why they still have this anymore. 30 frames and 60 and 25, 50 for Europe. It's just rubbish. I, I think they should just get rid of it. But anyway, it's 50 frames per second. So that means that if you're on the right hand side in the current time section here, the last one is your frames. You've got seconds and frames. So if I put this at 50, it'll be one second, which we don't want it's too long. So I'm going to go into 25. So I'm going to type in 25 on, on my keyboard like that. And the playhead you'll see now on the snapshot has moved along 25 frames. So while it's there, control T, on your keyboard or use the knife like so to cut it and we need we don't want this extra bit this bit here we don't want this so it just it delete on your keyboard to get rid of it this is the one piece that we're interested in so make sure your playhead is at the beginning move the playhead all the way along double click it again the playhead comes back to the beginning like so so now what we're going to do is we want to remove the background simple thing right just go to background remover right here Click on the AI background remover and it's gone. And you'll see now we've got two girls basically there. Excellent. That is just what we're after. Only now we need to give it some motion. So let's, while it's double click it, go into edit, go to keyframes. Now there's a, because this has been updated, I've got advanced here and I'll do a video of this soon because this is quite in, important thing to uh, to know this is much different now than what we had but for this tutorial just go to keyframes like so and just drag the slider up and in adjustments i don't want any of that i've got a clips here and it's the position keyframe we're looking for so while we've got here it's at the beginning of our keyframe add a keyframe like so on position here's our keyframe drag the playhead it doesn't matter which one you have on this like so, and add another keyframe. So that is our ending position and our starting position is exactly the same. Now on the starting position, make sure we're at the beginning like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this. So basically just grab it with your left mouse button and drag it along like so. And you'll see this green arrow turn up, see that? And now we've got an animation of her coming in onto our video clip. There, see that? <laughs> Let's slice that again. Whee! Brilliant. That is exactly what we want. Now we need to do is we need to move this clip to the beginning of, to the ending of the first clip. So left click your mouse button, hold it and drag it so it's now at the ending of our first clip. So this clip is, let's move this one out of the way, like so. And you can see that this is how we have it now. So when this this plays along, see, she's, she's dancing along like this. And then just here, we get our animation coming in. And it's because, because she's starting to turn right there, see? And this is where this clip will join it because the ending of this clip is the same as the beginning of this clip. So if I just deselect this, move that up in the way, and just play it quickly from there, dances, and there she goes. Brilliant. That is a very, very nice freeze frame effect. However, we're going to enhance it a little bit more. So make sure it's selected. Close this down on your left hand side and go to effects. And we're going to go to haze, so the, the middle one and go to blur. Now there is a Gaussian blur on here as well. Right here, see? They're both the same. I haven't really noticed any difference, to be truthful. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drop the blur onto our snapshot, like so. And we need to keyframe this as well, because when this comes in, she's blurred all the way in, see? As it's coming in, like so. Just drag this in. Look, see, there she is. Um, and she's just blurred. What we wanted to do is come into focus. 
is, is that's what we're after. So double click on this. Make sure it's the beginning. Move the playhead along. I don't know why it's not snapping in. There we go. Snapped into beginning. Let's go into keyframes. Close up our clip attributes. Adjustments, close it up. Now you see effect here and here we have. Now we can do the blur degree. This is the one we want. So we're at the beginning of our snapshot right here on the bottom. See beginning. So add a keyframe. That's the beginning. Drag your player along exactly what we did with our movement. Add another keyframe. And all you have to do now is just drop this keyframe degree to zero. So the ending degree keyframe is zero and the beginning one is five. See? And if you just play it along, she'll just come into, into focus as well. There. Excellent. And, and that is how to pre create our freeze frame. So let's just deselect everything, move our playhead a little bit and watch how it works. There we go. <laughs> I absolutely love it. That is so good. And that is how to create a freeze frame transition. So that is the freeze frame transition. Absolutely wonderful. Try it out for yourself. Consider subscribing if you found this video tutorial informative. Give us a like, ring the bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.